my name is Winnie and my main role is coordinating chair work in Kenya and East Africa uh, with an emphasis on women's ministry and uh, ministry to the girl child. I started to appreciate the role that women play in um, making a difference in their in the communities and their families and also realizing how much potential women have but beyond that i also came to realize just how limited they are in accomplishing those roles because they have much less opportunities compared to their fellow men um, so they are so limited in knowledge in opportunities poverty affects them more and and just this made me want to reach out more to try and and lift them up you know be the sister that holds their hand to bring them up so that they can do what god has appointed them to do in in a much more efficient way by creating opportunities for them i think one of the greatest challenge for both women and girls is the um, issue of cultural impact their cultural beliefs um, and the cultural expectations for them as women and girls, um, because the role that the society gives women is, um, is more of a diminishing role. In most of our African countries, I think the challenge is women are not expected to speak in public. Women are not valued at all. In fact, um, when you have a meeting, women and children sit differently than where men sit. So that's one of the greatest challenges because um, with so much potential within and, and culture not allowing that potential to come out, that's a huge challenge. You find that um, most women and girls have much less opportunities to go to school. So a lot of them will be illiterate. They don't know how to read and write, right? And that, again, puts them in a lower position. And then looking at even their... Uh, like, like reproductive health, which is a basic thing for women, you find that a lot of women do not have access to that. They do not understand their bodies. They do not have um, access to, you know, medical care when it comes to reproductive health. So there are a lot of challenges that, you know, women are encountering. Well, I think one of the greatest opportunities that we have as we do chair ministry in the communities is the opportunity to engage the women specifically and as individuals and in group settings so that they have an opportunity where they can air their views, they can contribute to, you know, some decisions in the community. So that alone gives them a voice, gives them a voice and it raises their dignity. You know, they feel like they have something to give. Um, and then the other thing is that there are several programs that have been tailored specifically for women. And this is helping to give them more information about themselves, um, create leadership roles for them. And most importantly also is to help them understand that there is God who loves them and their worth is not in what the society dictates or what the community expects, but it's more of what God has placed in their, in their, what God has placed in them. So their worth is not, is more in what God places for them and not what the society expects. So, so many stories we can tell of girls and women who have risen above cultural expectations and also been, you know, delivered from you know suicidal thoughts just because of you know what has happened to them in life versus what is expected of them by the community and they just don't feel like they match and it just drives them to the extreme so we we are so grateful that that is an opportunity for us to you know walk with them encourage them motivate them and where possible create those opportunities for them to thrive because they can and we all have potential. It's just that it's in here. And then until somebody taps it, then it's still locked in there. And that's what we are trying to do is to tap and open that the, their heart so that that potential can flow out and they can just be what God has created them to be.